Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful, beautiful Tauruses. How are y'all doing this morning on this Wednesday hump day? How are y'all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you come to this reading. I hope you all are staying safe. How are y'all feeling? I hope you woke up positive. Hope you woke up grateful and thankful because how you start your day is how it's going to develop. Okay. I love you guys. I want to say thank you for sharing and liking my content because it really matters. Someone needs to hear a confirmation. Someone needs to know that they're not alone. Someone needs to heal from their heartbreak. And I want to say thank y'all so much. Thank you also for your generosity. I want to say thank y'all. Y'all know I love you guys. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in. Take what resonates, okay? Leave the rest for someone else and reverse the roles. How they fit in your life because I don't know your life, all right? So I need you to stay with me. Don't skip the video. I need you to stay with me. There are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in my readings all the time. I don't need, I need you to stay so you will grasp what it is you need to know and apply it to your consciousness, okay? Now that's out the way. Now let's get this. How about it's Taurus season? So happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. I love you guys. It is Taurus season, baby. Taurus about to turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> Happy birthday to everyone. I hope whenever your birthday shows up and arrive that you have the best life, best time of your life. Okay. Oh, Taurus, baby. It's your time. It's your time to shine. Hey, hey. <laughs> you always shine anyway, Taurus. I love you guys. Y'all are definitely some beautiful souls. So it's now Aries season is over. Yeah, I had to break it to him really slow. Uh, Aries season is over, but Aries says I'm going to keep on celebrating the rest of the year. But it is now Taurus season. My grandmother was a Taurus. My goodness, baby, she was a bull, okay? But uh, I, I love you guys. And I, I wish you so, so much happiness during your beautiful birthday time, okay? So we're going to get started. Now we got that out the way. Good morning to you. <laughs> if you come across my video, if you don't like to, uh, if you don't like high energy, high frequency, high positivity, uh, baby, I need you to just keep on scrolling because over here is nothing but high energy, nothing but positivity, nothing but motivation, motivation after motivation, inspiration, some laughter to heal the heart. Some singing, you're going to get a little bit of everything from me, okay? But that's a process of healing your heart, mind, body, and your soul. That's what it's all about. That's how you heal your broken heart. We're going to piece it all back together, but this time you're going to come stronger than ever, okay? So let's get started. I'm pulling out my energy, my Oracle energy deck, my old deck. I love this deck. Very, very beautiful. So Spirit Guides led that. Let's see. Spirit Guides Divine Universe. This is for Taurus. I actually give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your divine, your divine protection. Spirit Guides, I can't do it without you, God. I can't do it without you, Divine Universe. My, uh, yeah, Spirit Guides, Archangel Michael Gabriel. Let's see what's coming towards you. Let's see what's in your energy, Taurus. Okay. Seventh Chakra. Archangel Uriel is here. Okay, Archangel Uriel is in your reading. Let's see what else is going on. Mm, this came out before. You're on a new journey. You had it somewhere. You are headed somewhere. Oh, a contract. A contract. You're headed somewhere, Taurus. You're on your way to somewhere, a big contract. You got a contract or something that's going to balance you. Or you, uh, this could be metaphorically, this could be. Uh, physically, you're moving towards maybe a contract. You, you can already get a contract. Something you don't see, uh, you don't see coming. Okay, as you can see, this person's uh, eyes are covered. This contract, Spirit Guys is saying you're headed towards maybe some somewhere north, south, east, or west across this bridge towards your happiness. But Spirit Guys want you to be okay, confident, but be cautious, and also make sure you read the fine print. 
Don't overlook the red flags wherever you're headed. Spirit God said, call on Archangel Uriel to help guide you, to help give you clarity, to help you. Okay. Okay. Spirit guys, one more card for Taurus. So yeah, you're headed towards, you head, you, you, you on a journey, baby. You getting ready to go somewhere. Let's find out more. Let's find out. Let's find out more. One more card, Spirit guys. Okay. Patience. Okay. Patience is here. Patience is here. And at the bottom is happiness. You're going towards your happiness, honey. You're going towards the sun, wherever you're going. You've been patient. You've been trying to be as patient as possible, okay, on this journey, on this new journey. But there's a contract, all right? We're going to look more into it when I get into your reading, Taurus. But on this journey, there's a contract that you're going to sign or there's a contract that's coming towards you that you may not see coming, okay? On this journey, there's something that you need to read the fine print. Whatever this journey, this contract that you're going towards that you're about to sign, Spirit God said, make sure you read the detail fine print. Okay. If this is a business deal, if this is a business, if this is a job you're going towards that you're physically moving, don't forget to read the fine words. Okay. If this is a connection you're going towards, please do not be blindsided. Don't do not overlook the red, the red flags. Okay. Now, spirit guides want you to, you know, on this new journey, okay, on this new journey, uh, spirit guides want you to be very vigilant, but to have confidence and go for what you want, but be very vigilant, okay? So you got the patient card here. The patience is telling me that you, you're being patient. It's like you're not in a hurry. You're not in a hurry. It's like you're not going to do anything drastic, okay? Uh, but you just need to make sure that you're reading the fine print, okay? So... Spirit guys, what you telling Taurus? Let's find out what's going on in your reading, Taurus. Let's find out what it is. Yeah, you're all in your head. You're really thinking really heavy about this contract, okay? It's something that's been on your mind. Uh, this person, possibly, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. doesn't necessarily mean that. It's just what's on your mind, this, this deal, this deal that's, that's on your mind. You're trying to patiently think it through. You're patiently trying to think it through. You're trying to make it make sense. You're trying to make it, you know, you're trying to think logical about it. You don't, you're not putting any, no, no emotions into, oh, the butterflies and stuff. No, 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 no. You're really in your brain about it. You see that? You see that card? You're really in your brain. You're thinking, you're trying to make sure that you make the right move. Okay. When it comes down to this contract. Okay. You're trying to make sure that you're making the right move, whether it's physical moving across this bridge into your happiness. As you can see, the sun is shining over here on the other side of this bridge, north, south, east, or west. Or if this is metaphorically, that is that you are actually starting a new journey of your life. Okay. That you're starting something new. So yeah, you're being patient. You're being patient, even though you're all in your head, you're worried about it. And that's because you want to make sure that you're making the right decision. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, you you got the you got the nine of wands. You you definitely being defensive, okay? You're being defensive, you're thinking it through. Tell me more. Thank you. Oh yeah, you got an offer coming. That's what it is. That's what's going on. That's it right there. Some of you got an offer going on. You got a big contract going on. This contract is going to either physically have you to move and relocate somewhere else, okay? This contract is a maybe a boss in a boss or a raise or promotion, making more money. But the catch is you're going to have to move. The catch is somebody going to have to move across this bridge uh, onto. Uh, yeah, it, it, it makes you happy. The offer is making you happy. You're happy about the offer. But at the same time, you're definitely in your head about this offer as well. OK, so you're happy. OK. You want to change, but or do you really want to change? Because after all, you know, you got the defense, defensive card here. You will feel alone. OK, you will feel, you know, you just you know, you're not going to be around the same people or doing the same thing. Or if this is not a promotion or a raise, if this is not career, this is definitely someone's coming in to offer you their love to you to take you out. Are you ready to start this new journey with this person? OK. 
Uh, this can mean that you're going to see this person. This person may be getting ready to buy you, gift you a ticket, a plane ticket or something, or a bus ticket or a train ticket to come and see them. And you're all in your head. So this can go several ways, uh, Taurus. So all it, it, this whole reading is talking about a contract, talking about something that really really is giving you uh, the anxiety card is not here, but it's definitely giving you uh yeah, all in your head. This is an offer. This is an offer. Oh yeah. This is a true offer. You got the Knight of cups here. This is a true offer is coming towards you. It's going to, it's going to be a lot of celebration. Are you ready for it? I mean, this is something worth celebrating. Are you ready for it though? Are you really ready for this new, this new journey? I feel like you have an epiphany. You know who you are. You know who you are. You, 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 you're having an epiphany. Okay. You, you, you waking up. It's like, it's like, uh, oh my goodness. You know, at the same time, you know who you are, but you got some devil energy. Uh, oh my goodness. Let me, let me see. Let me, let me see this here, honey. Okay, you it's a lot of attraction here. Do you really want to go see this person? Yeah, you're gonna follow your heart towards this. Look at here. This could be a Capricorn. I intuitively see a Gemini. You're gonna follow your heart towards this person. Maybe this is someone you wanna. Ah. Wow, I about got the same thing I got from the last reading. Let me tell you something. What's happening here, Taurus? You have a contract, okay? Like I told y'all, some of y'all, this is career. Some of you, this can be actually a connection, okay? Now, you have somebody that's coming in new with a true cup that's coming towards you, okay? They're coming towards you. But at the bottom of this deck, you have the death card in reverse, you have the six of swords in the reverse and you have the seven of swords in the upright. <sighs> so this tells me that there is a new offer coming towards you. OK, there's a contract. And I feel like you're going to you, you, you try you. You're like on this journey of what, you know, physically or metaphorically, like someone don't want something to be over somebody you was dealing with don't, that was cheating, lying, stealing from you. Someone's still stuck on you. The deaf in the reverse, they don't want y'all's connection to be over. But see what they done to you the whole time you was in this reading. I mean, the whole time you was with this person. That's why the journey card is here, because you're ready to go towards something else. Some of you going to follow your heart with this person you've been dealing with. The toxicity you had. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Now, this can mean a job. Don't want you to go. Even though how they treated you, they lied to you, treated you wrong. Okay. So you can take this as a job. You can take this as a connection. But you have had an epiphany. You realize what your worth is. OK, and if this was a job, the nine of the nine of wands is all about feeling abnormal. No, don't feel like you belong there. You, you don't, you know, and you feel it, you know, it's time for you to go. That can be a job or that it can be a relationship. I feel like with the uh, the Queen of Cups and the Devil card, you're a very caring, nourishing, kind person, help people. But you was in a toxic situation. You see what I'm saying? Toxic, codependent. It, you, you know, you was nice as you can be. But where you was at, the environment or the person was very toxic. So now you got offers to move, offers for a better position, offer of a, a, someone new coming into your life or a business deal that's going to cause you to be in your head about, you know, maybe if you want to leave this, this toxic company or you, or you want to move on or you want to leave this toxic relationship and you want to go towards a true cup, someone that's going to invest in you, someone that has a lot to offer you.
That's why I was telling you in the beginning, you were, you are patiently waiting. I mean, you're patiently thinking this through. Sometimes, let me tell you something, whether it's a career or a relationship that you have been in for a long time, you get so comfortable and it's sad because we get so comfortable of the toxicity within the company, of the toxicity within the relationship, and we get complacent and we get comfortable. And then when it's, you know, when we know that it's time to leave, we, we, we get in this state of fear, this state of worryation, the state of, you know, can't think straight and, and because it's, it's, it's a new journey. It's something new. You're going towards something new, something different, something fresh. So when this con this contract is here, okay. Now with this contract, you're not going to see coming. I think that's why it's hitting you so hard because you didn't see this coming. Whether this was a relationship that you did not see coming, like how it ended up that this person was lying, stealing, deceiving you. Uh, in the beginning, you thought you didn't see you. You thought this person was coming in to balance you, but you found out that they that you didn't read the fine line. You didn't read the fine print. You didn't look at you overlooked the red flags about this person, and it caused you a lot of discomfort now with the job they a lot of toxicity they treated you wrong but even though you have a very kind beautiful heart but the contract that you know the job that you was dealing with it put a lot of pressure on you a lot of it was a lot of things going on that was very toxic on that job now god divine universe is giving you an opportunity that something is coming in for you okay all right there's a big deal. There's a promotion. Something's coming towards you. And you really, it, I see you really being happy, but you also afraid if you're making the right choice or not. Okay. This contract is going to balance you. You're just not going to see it coming. I think that's where all of this is coming from. Okay. This pro, this promotion, this making more money, this true cup that's coming towards you, Taurus, it's going to lead you beautiful. It's either physically, you're physically going to move somewhere else to a, a, another location or you metaphorically, this is a new journey that you're going to finally get money, get the thing, the, everything that you wanted from a job that you couldn't get at the last job or a relationship, which you couldn't get at that relationship. Here comes someone that's ready to, they have a lot to offer you and they want to make you happy. Okay. I know that I had to really break that one down because it can mean several different things. My goodness. There's a, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Walking away, baby. You walking away and you going towards the new investment, the new pinnacles, baby. You walking away. Yes. Yes. I know Tars. Tars walking away, going right into somebody's hands. Yes. I knew it. I knew Tars. Yes. <laughs> I know you Tars. Tars said, oh, hell no. And you going right towards your happiness, baby. You going to take this out of it. Somebody sees you. They see you. They ready to express themselves. That you going towards your happiness, baby. This person is coming towards you. This person has a lot to offer you. And you said, no, I'm walking away, Miss Paul's of Thoughts of Energy. I am out of that building. I am away from that person, whichever it, it, it is in your life. You said, and I'm going towards this investment. This is divine saying, now you can stay where you at. And you could be miserable or you're going to take this. You're going to walk through this gate right here. Look at you. Look at you walking through this gate right here and divine. See, you can walk through this gate. You can walk across this bridge. And I got something that's going to be way, way better for you. And baby, I know it. I know you, Taurus. I know y'all. I know y'all. And I ain't even a Taurus, but I know y'all. Let me tell you something. Tara said, oh, no, I, I'm gone. I'm gone. Tara said, I'm gone. I'm going towards the investment. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. You said, huh? -uh, I done been in hermit, low, hermit mode for too long. I put up with that mess too long. That job, the manipulation, the, the, the talking to me any kind of way, the, the, you know, just taking my kindness for weakness, whether it was a relationship or whether it was a job. My God, you said yes. 
I'm out of here, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. I'm out of here. And I'm going towards who is going to invest in me more. I'm taking this job proposition. I'm taking this raise. I'm going into that boss energy with another company. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because I am who I am. And I am me. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Because Charles don't play about that. I knew something was getting ready to come out into the cards. I could feel it. I knew it. I knew something was coming out in the cards. You said I done been deceived too long, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. Too long! <laughs> Look at that! I'm over it, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. I am over it, baby. Ten of Pentacles. I know it, girl. Man, let me tell you something, y'all. That Look at here. Y'all got me horns in here. Look at here. All your wishes coming true. Look at here. You return. Yeah. No more leave being left out in the cold, being mistreated. Use it. You just walk all over me. I'm done with that. I'm done. Success is in my DNA, baby. Success. Look at me shine. Look at me walking through. Look at me shining through, baby. Yes. <laughs> Taurus. I know you a beast, baby. You a beast, Taurus. You a beast. <laughs> Look at that, baby. You going towards your ten of pentacles, creating your generational wealth. You going towards the love of your life. You going towards this big investment. You going towards this new job that's offering new money. You going to do the thing. And baby, I knew it was coming. You said, oh no, uh -uh, honey. Oh no, I'm done with that. <laughs> You said, where's my car that girl, man, girl? Hey, look at him. Oh, you moving forward. You don't got in your car. You don't went on. You moving forward. Look, uh, you've been waiting for a long time for this decision. The nine of cups, spirit guy said, you've been wishing, praying, meditating on this. And your wish has been granted. Your wish was granted. You said, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I know my words. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm going towards my success. I'm going towards... What's for me, I'm recovering from how people, <coughs> excuse me, y'all, how people have treated me. And I'm going towards this big investment, this offer, my happiness. Someone you're with right now, you went towards your happiness with this person. Double confirmation, happiness, happiness. Behind that is the sun card. The, behind that, the door to spirit. And behind that is walking away. You walking away, honey. You said, I'm done with it. Whether it was an ex-person, whether this was a career, you creating your own wealth. You creating your own gener your, your generational wealth. You with somebody now that makes you happy, makes you smile. Happiness, double confirmation here. Double confirmation right there. Happy life, happy life, happy everything. Ten of cups, wish fulfillment, looking good, success. You said, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't know me. Tar say you don't know me. You ain't gonna kill. You done deceived me. You done you done treated me bad on the job. You done deceived me. You done treated me bad in a relationship. You think, yeah, I might have been all in my head about this contract if I wanted to leave it or take it. But I can tell you what, I patiently thought it through. I patiently thought it through and walked through. When I walked through, hey, when I walked through. When I walk through, hey, when I walk through, hey, <laughs> look at that. You patiently walk through. You said, huh? Okay, I'm just giving in. I'm just coming in. I don't need a two weeks notice. I'm just, you know, I'm going towards something else. And you going towards the biggest contract of your life. You going towards the biggest contract of your life because you patiently thought it through. And baby, the ten of pentacles. Look at here, honey. When you walk through, when you walked out that door, look what you started creating. All your wishes is coming true. The promotion, making more money from somewhere else. Someone sees you. Someone thinks you'll catch. You may already be with the person that thinks you a catch and you that's your happiness y'all all your wishes is coming true this contract that you didn't see coming the way that you know you didn't know that you was gonna be treated like you was treated when you first got that job uh yeah you was blindsided by it or that relationship when you first got into it you were blindsided by it but you said miss some positive thoughts of energy i have learned enough now that i know who i am i have healed from that i have recovered from being treated like a dog i've recovered 
never been treated less than. I recovered from being left out in the cold in all kind of areas of my life. But I know I have awakened and I have woke up and I know I'm the queen of the king. I, 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 I sit on my throne. I sit on my throne because I know what it took and I know who I am. And now <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles in my way. It's going to be a bright, bright, bright sunny day. And you left. <laughs> Ever since then, baby, you created, you opened up doors, doors for you. Generational wealth, settlements, money coming to you, longevity of a relationship. Someone is offering you a lot in this relationship. If you haven't met him or her yet, you are about to meet him or her. This new journey, you said, I wasn't going to miss this for the world. You said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I was not going to miss this new journey of being, being at the right place at the right time and being with a company that values me, being with a partner that values me. Baby, I wasn't going to miss this for the world. Oh yeah, I might have been in my head, but I thought this thing out very, very clear. I'm Positive Thoughts and Energy, baby. <laughs> Yes, I know I just woke up some of y'all. Uh, until next time, Taurus.